Hey guys, thanks for tuning back. I'm going to show you how to create this look and I call this look the Beauty Burn Victim. This is a recreated look that I posted up a few days ago on my Instagram. This look is slightly different from the one I post. The only thing different is the materials I use just so you could find the materials easily at any Halloween shop. If you want to learn how to create this look, keep on watching. So to start this off, I pulled my hair back and I'm using molding wax, which is like putty. It looks like this and I bought this at the spirit store. This wax is really cheap, it was probably less than $5 and it's really good because it doesn't stick to your skin like other wax that I've used. So if you're a beginner working with wax, this is like the perfect wax for you. And right now I'm just taking my spatula and scraping up the product so it'll be easier for me to use later on. The picture that I posted up on my Instagram, I actually used third degree instead of wax. I just decided to use wax this time because I know third degree would be a little bit harder to find and it really doesn't matter what you use to create this look. Um, right now I'm just taking brown eyeliner to trace out where I want to place the wax. It doesn't have to be pretty at this point but this will just help me later on when I have to put the wax down. After scraping it out, I put moisturizer on my hand just to help me melt the product and actually help me manipulate and mold the wax. After playing with the wax and softening it, I was able to roll out a piece and I'm going to measure out that piece to fit on top of the eyeliner that I drew down earlier. So after measuring out how much wax I'm going to be using, I'm taking spirit glue which is an adhesive that I also got at the spirit store. So using the spirit glue, I am taking it and I'm going to trace the eyeliner that I drew down earlier. I'm actually putting a generous amount on it. And just a forewarning, spirit glue smells really bad and I feel like you should have a fan somewhere in your room or wherever you're doing this or somewhere where there's a nice breeze because it just it smells horrible. So taking my finger, I'm going to tap on top of the glue and this will help get the glue a little bit more tackier which will help the wax adhere better onto the skin. And right now I'm just putting the wax on my skin by pressing it down. And I'm taking a little bit more moisturizer. I'm going to blend out the edges so it'll be more seamless and more skin-like. So after pressing down the wax, you're actually stretching it out so you would normally get some leftovers. Um, after pulling it downward, but that's okay because we're going to use that extra product somewhere else. Um, so when that is done, I'm just going to rip off the access just like this and we're going to use the extra and put it on our eyebrows. So we're going to put spirit glue down just like this and then we're going to add, oh wait no, we have to tap it out and then we're going to put the wax on. Using the same technique, we're just going to blend out the edges of the wax and make sure we cover our eyebrows because this will help later on when we play with the liquid latex. So since that part is done, we're going to move on to the other side of our face. I'm taking a wedge sponge and I'm just going to put on my foundation. And this is a foundation that I don't really use so often because it's not my favorite foundation. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use it anyways. And um, yeah, I'm going to put it all over and I'm just going to stipple it on so I get a nice good coverage on my face. I'm going to start contouring my face. I'm using a darker cream foundation um, around the perimeter of my face, hollows my cheek, um, on the bridge of my nose, and this is how I would normally contour my face if I want to do something dramatic. And I'm also taking the darker foundation and I'm going to use it to fill in the wax that we put down earlier just so it would blend out um, and give it more definition. Using the same sponge that I use for my foundation, I'm taking the nicer, cleaner side and it's going to blend out the darker foundation with it. I'm just really working that wedge as hard as I can in a stippling motion, also um, a rubbing motion just to make sure I blend it out really good. And I'm also doing the same thing on the wax. 
Because I want my eyebrows to be more defined and darker, I'm using my Anastasia's um, Brow Pompade in dark brown. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like I normally would with regular eyeshadow. Moving on to my eyes, I'm just using a nice lilac purple eyeshadow all over my lid, not going above my crease. And then I'm going to go in with a darker reddish color in my inner corner and outer corner. And then using a nice fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend out any harshness I see that I put down because I didn't highlight my brow bone at all. So after, I'm going to take black liner, I'm going to tight line my lower lash line. And using the same reddish eyeshadow with a pencil brush, I'm going to buff out that eyeliner. Now I'm going to take cream liner and I'm going to create my wing. I want my wing to be really dramatic, so using an angled eyeliner brush, I'm just going to create a really thick line. So going back to my face, I'm going to set my foundation using Rimmel's setting powder and this is in shade 001 transparent and we use it to highlight my face so under my eyes, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, chin, forehead and right under my contour. Now to set my contour I'm using a matte bronzer and I'm going to put it on the perimeter of my face, hollows my cheek and on my nose just so I can get some definition in there. And then I'm going to put some blush on to give me some rosy cheeks, like this. And for my lips, I'm using Candy Yum Yum by MAC, which is like my favorite pink lipstick in the world, right here on my lips, like a Barbie doll, a burnt Barbie. So moving on to the bloody side, I'm taking liquid latex in a small container. Using a stippling or a wedge sponge, I'm using a stippling motion to put a generous layer on the other side of my face just like this and I want to put a good layer down. Whenever you play with liquid latex, I suggest you remove any hair from your face or pull back any hair because pulling out liquid latex when you're done with it is um, a no-go and it's like giving yourself a wax. Seriously, it hurts. Next, I am taking tissue that I already prepped. I just peeled off some tissue because they're two plied, ripped off the edges so there's no straight lines and I'm just going to layer on liquid latex and tissue. Liquid latex and tissue. I'm um, getting a nice layer over each other. I think so far um, for this whole look, I put down three layers. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to pull down the liquid latex um, on my neck, but I'm not going to put any um, tissue down there because in my Instagram picture that I posted, I didn't really put any tissue down. I just used liquid latex, so you don't really have to do that. You don't really need tissue, but for a more of a dramatic sense, I am just going to add tissue to this. When that is done, I'm going to take some tweezers or pluckers, whatever you want to call them, and I'm going to rip holes into it. And I swear it looks really painful, but it's not. It's like playing with a balloon. And it's really stretchy, so when you pick at it, it's not going to hurt. But just be a little bit careful because you don't want to pull your skin at the same time. When using the tweezers, you want to make the holes look like it's jagged because, you know, we're doing a burn victim. Going to my neck, I'm just going to stretch out the latex we put down because I didn't put any tissue so it's more easier and I don't have to use my tweezers for this. So when that's done, we're going to start coloring. You could use any cream products um, that you have, but I'm using my Ben Nye Cream Color Wheel and Bruise and Abrasion. Using a dark red cream, I'm using um, an art brush to color in the holes that we created. And I really do suggest using cream products for this because if you use any kind of powder, it won't stick because the powder will just get lost in that bloody sauce we put on afterwards to tie in the whole look together. Adding the deep red inside the holes will create depth when you add the blood on so it'll look 
like the hole is deeper than it actually is. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on my neck with the dark reddish brown dying looking color and also around my eyes and maybe on the perimeter of my face. Next I'm gonna go in with a mustard yellow painting over the liquid latex. Normally liquid latex will dry white if you don't get the flesh tone liquid latex but using yellow will create a more infected type of skin. Next, I'm gonna stipple on some red cream on top of the yellowness that we put down. And at this point, you should look like a pizza. A moldy, gross, melting cheese slice of pizza. Now my favorite part, we're gonna move on to the blood. And I'm using Ben Nine's Flesh Scab Blood. And this is like a gel type of blood. I'm gonna use the same brush that I've been, always been using for this whole tutorial. Um, I'm gonna take some blood, I'm gonna put it into the holes that we created. So all the dark spots that we put down with the red, I'm gonna put blood on top of it, like this. I feel like my pizza face just got more gross because there's blood all over it. So at this point, it looks like I have more gel blood on my face, but in all actuality, I just kind of moved and shift around the blood that I already had all over my face. And I'm just gonna stipple it on where I want more blood. And they say less is better, but since it's Halloween, I'm just gonna add in more blood. And this blood is a liquid blood and it's not the dark red, it's more of a light red, a more flesh tone of blood. And I'm just gonna stipple it all over where I want more blood. After that's done and you're satisfied with all the blood you poured onto your face, a cool trick is if you have Alka-Seltzer, you could smash them up into tiny pieces and then pour it on or powder it on and then spritz some water and then it'll give you a nice bubbly chemical effect if you would want that look, which is totally cool because it's, you know, Halloween. Ugh, this is so awkward because I can't move like this side of my face. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Maybe you'll do this for Halloween or something. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Mwah. Bye, love you.